Hi guys and welcome to my showcase uh, on DeathFX. So DeathFX is a pretty straightforward plugin. It is it basically spawns a an effect at the location of a death. Um, it's configurable as to whether that death is client side, server side, uh, or is a uh, uh, you know, prop spawn or something like that. So it's got some pretty cool modifications to it. So come a long way since release. So. There's actually a new UI that you can access now, so you type in slash death effects to chat, that's chat command, and you are given this baby. So death effects, the menu will have different types of effects, which are actually all enabled by default, but I can see here I've disabled a lot of them myself. Uh, and in green is when you can see that they've actually been enabled. Now basically what happens with death effects is when you kill something, it spawns an effect, such as a lantern raising to the sky and then deleting. Um, if I and save all of these, and go back to the main one, and then we'll say enable uh, spiral peak, kill something new. See these sorts of effects appear, and it affects, it actually appears random. So if I enable pretty much this entire page. Say chicken. Spawning all weird, wonderful effects at random. By default, there's some ridiculous amount of like 110 different effect types, spawn varying from spiral uh, effects, spiral spawns, circular effects over spawn, stacked, individual, um, electrified, not electrified. You can see here there's a lot of different effects that kind of spawn. Um, so if I. everything. Just to kind of give you an idea of how this works. Now you can see here we also have an option here called server and client. Now when it's showing as client, it means that only you as a player can see this. Um, where it's showing as server, only everyone on the server is able to see this. We also have enabled and disabled, so if you see disabled it means it doesn't actually trigger the effect anymore. We have enabled, it does. Let's just do this for a couple of effects and you can see a couple of different ones here. There's a massive variety of them and the beauty is you can create your own as well which is really cool. So there's a lot of tools there you can Kind of used to spawn in whatever items you like at the location of a spawn death. Um, you can have it spawn in chickens when something dies, or animals, or you know, splash, or you see I've got a couple more chickens that have appeared but they don't trigger because they're immune. Um, a lot of different effects. Well, I spawn a heap of chickens here, use my trusty rocket gun. Lanterns that spawn, you've got little effects, you've got blood circles, heaps of different things. Skulls, but everything gets deleted after a period of time if it's configured to do so. So it's it's very it's actually not not bad at all in the frames on your service performance. Um, especially if things are optimized, especially if things are set to be removed by default. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of a lot of stuff you can do here. Um, that's pretty much death effects. Uh, there's new stuff being added to it all the time, but yeah, if you have any, any suggestions or anything you'd like to see, feel free to let me know.